Hey Aquarius, welcome to your um, Pop Tarot Love Read. Uh, for this week, I would be focusing more on your incoming love, um, primarily for May. Okay, so incoming love reading would uh, be talking about um, whether it be a new person coming towards you or somebody that you may have dealt with in the past. So take it, take it however that resonates on your case. Uh, to all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. Um, I hope everybody is staying well. If you need information about my personal readings and everything else about this channel, they are all in the description box below. All right. So this is going to be a quick read. And um, All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and do your reading. What do we have for Aquarius in coming love for the month of May? Let's see. Or as and when you watch this video. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter in love. Aquarius, you have the uh, Five of Pentacles, the Empress, the Ten of Cups, Six of Swords, the Nine of Wands, uh, the World, and the Seven of Pentacles. All right, Aquarius. Um... Wow, the person coming towards you or this energy of a new incoming love, the energy coming towards you, Aquarius, is someone or with someone who is um, very, uh, some sort of emotionally aware in terms of their relationship, in terms of their environment. This is someone who has reached a level of maturity in their um in dealing with their day-to-day -day life affairs. Yeah, not just in love, but in general in the general sense. Um, a person who is pretty familiar or who is um, who has been through a lot as well, a lot of experiences in their life, who has um perhaps even achieved a lot in their life as well. Mm -hmm. Um both financially, um, the level of stability, I do sense that, if not that, this is a person who has really an eye for um, a thriving relationship, a comfortable living conditions and all that. This is someone who is that, okay? And um, I feel, Aquarius, that uh, there is a very uh, strong feeling here with regards to could be you or it could be this person but there is a very strong feeling here that somebody is currently not um you know feeling at their best yeah maybe because during the time that I'm doing this reading it's our covid-19 um period so it's things can be depressing as well but i do sense that um somebody here is not feeling happy, not feeling great, um, or someone here is also having some financial problems as well. It could be you, it could be this person. And um, in terms of um, love connections or, you know, the energy of um, love, connecting with someone, there is someone here who may have a feeling of um, rejection in the past. Yeah, this is somebody who has been rejected in the past. Who wasn't? Yeah, so th this is someone who may still be carrying that energy. Yeah, um, focusing on your person very well. So um, this also could very well be a person who has just completed a cycle in in their love connection. Somebody who is trying to move to a um, better uh, space in their life right now you know they may have had a um, a difficult or challenging past cycle in their past love love connections and this is someone right now showing up in this connection where is trying to be more um, they're trying to have more peace and um, stability in their life somebody who is not wanting to have more drama in their life yeah, so when they come to you, don't present any drama because that's not something that this person wants, definitely. And um, even though this person has undergone a lot of things, a lot of challenges, 
this is someone who is pretty um, still ready yeah, to take on another fight, a good fight. Yeah, and if this is an energy coming towards you, I feel that um, definitely this is someone who's wanting to um, start a new cycle with you. Yeah, if you feel this energy coming towards you, Aquarius, um, that person that I have described just now, this is definitely someone who is um, ready to take another fight as long as it's logical, as long as they see potential for um, growth and expansion with you. That's what I see, yeah. Because definitely, um, this is someone like I said who has reached a certain level of maturity, emotional maturity, even financial maturity, or that level of stability in life. So, I don't see that this person is is presenting their energies towards you just to, um, just to have fun. This is someone who knows the value of, of relationship of. Um, connection of being emotionally aware in their environment and someone who has been rejected yeah and therefore they don't want to undergo the same process that's what i see if this is a new person then that's that um this is someone who is you know if they see it fit this is uh, wanting to have a new beginning yeah if this is a person that you knew from the past this is definitely someone who is um, trying to move on from your past cycle with them and um, move on in the sense that they don't want to fight, they don't want to argue, they don't want to um, have a lot of drama that are or mind games and all that. And um, this is also someone who still have eyes on you, somebody perhaps who is still in love with you, uh, who, who has love for you, but maybe not in love with you at least during this time frame that I'm I'm reading this. So if if you're wanting that um person, uh I feel that it's more like somebody here needs to come correct in order for this person to um to want to have a new beginning. Mm hmm Because if this was the past, the love is still there, yes. But I don't see really the sense of them being in love. They love you, but I'm not sure if... I don't see it very prominent here that this person is very much in love with you. But the love is there. The care is there. Mm -hmm. Maybe because they were really hurt. Um, this was a person in the past that was really hurt in that past cycle. Somebody who may have had some doubts with their self-worth because of the cycle they had with you and all that. I don't know how things have transpired, but it was a very challenging route that they had to take. But the good thing is this person has completed that cycle, has fully understood it. Whatever learnings that are needed to be done in that cycle with you, this person has understood that. With regards to you, I do see that... Um, well, you're not feeling that great as well. Honestly, I could see that here, even if you don't tell me. I'm, I feel that you are not feeling that great. There could be some financial problems on your side. But I do see that um, you're, uh, you're, you're pretty happy about something, at least for this week. Something is making you feel happy. It could be that you may be connecting with this person. Uh -huh. Or you could see some potential in your life right now, looking further towards the future. You may see some good uh, uh, future or good um, opportunities towards you. Maybe maybe that's the reason. But I do see that there is this sense here of you um, feeling, although there is um, a part of you is not uh, fully happy in terms of love connections, but I do feel that you are... A part of you is um, feeling satisfied in what you see moving forward. That's what I see. It could be related to Aquarius, to the things that you have invested in the past. It could be your love connections. It could be your investments, that things are turning out well. So something that you may have done in the past or you, you may have put in effort in the past and things are... You could see potential for it to be, um, or, or opportunities for it to grow. That's what I see. 
okay so that's all i have for you aquarius i hope this gives you insights and um let me know in the comment section below and give me a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe and share and um, also click on the notification bell so that you will be notified in my for my upcoming videos and um, if you need further readings i do have them on the screen so you can check them out also you can go to my um, channel i do have aquarius love playlist that um, there's uh, loads of videos that you might enjoy all right um, otherwise, if this is Ruby Potways, thank you for stopping by.